Hey, welcome to the Sunday preview for this first Sunday of Advent. And we have a reading from the Gospel of Matthew, Matthew 24. Jesus said to his disciples, as it was in the days of Noah, so will it be at the coming of the Son of Man. In those days before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage up to the day that Noah entered the ark. They did not know until the flood came and carried them all away. So will it be also at the coming of the Son of Man. Two men will be out in the field, one will be taken, the other left. Two women will be grinding at the mill, one will be taken, the other will be left. Therefore, stay awake. You do not know the day on which your Lord will come. Be sure of this. If the master of the house had known the hour of night when the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and not let his house be broken into. So too, you also must be prepared, for at an hour you do not expect, the Son of Man will come. Well, obviously the message of our gospel is to be vigilant, to watch, to always be ready for the return of the Lord. We know that the Lord is gonna come at the end of time, when he calls history to a close, and he's gonna come in glory as the judge of the living and the dead. That's fundamental to our Christian faith. And so we never know when that day is gonna come. Uh, could be today, could be a million years from now. We just don't know, but our job is to be prepared. But that's one side of the revelation and the teaching of Jesus today. But it also has implications for our daily life. And we always have to be ready and prepared for Christ to enter our lives today. No. There's a way that Christ wants to be involved in our life and send his Holy Spirit. And he does this by giving us opportunity after opportunity and then providing us the grace to have an encounter with him through other people. Maybe it's a word of revelation to us, a prophecy of insight. Maybe it's a moment where we're invited to give a service to others. Maybe it's an inspiration that we get to go and serve in charity for others. And the key to the Christian life is always being attentive and vigilant for whatever it is the Lord and His Holy Spirit is trying to inspire in our hearts. And in a way, that's the difference between a good Christian and just the ordinary run-of-the-mill Christian who just in a general way believes that the Lord is coming someday. The really good Christian is the one that lives every day in anticipation, in waiting and watching. It's like somebody anticipating the arrival of a friend from out of town. Oh, they're attentive for a call on the phone or a knock on the door. Oh, or the email that'll come and say, I'm almost there. It's that kind of anticipation that we need every day because the Lord wants to enter our lives and influence us for the good every single day. So as we start Advent, you know, it's good for us to check and see, is that the way I live my Christian life? Listening, watching, attentive for the coming of the Lord into my life?